Welcome everybody to this next part of the video where we talk about the visual art pathway of appreciation. So when you're looking for what you could be in your life in the future as a visual artist, maybe your role for a certain time period because you're busy with other things is just to appreciate other people's creations. So let's look at a little bit more about that. Again, our future pathways, the the overview is appreciation, participation, hobby, visual arts career, and then master artists. And if we're looking at that first one, um, the, the differentiator is going to be that you don't necessarily, at the time of your appreciation, make things. You don't participate in the creative process. Um, and you give your attention uh, to not only just like scrolling through things, but really focused attention on things that people make, other people in your world. Um, so when you're looking through that list, uh, that's gonna be a differentiator. Um, and then what does this look like? So if you're looking at what an appreciation looks like, um, it's going to be community driven. I would, I would at least suggest that. Finding people in your community that make things. Um, we have a set of ceramic bowls and cups and uh, plates that we use every day in our family. Um, and those are made from a friend of ours that was in our community that we care about, we know, and they made them with their hands. So there's an interesting connection there. There's value in that connection to the person from the community that made it, and it's kind of more local. Um, there's going to be a little broader, like just the master part, uh, master artist appreciation is going to be like going to museums and galleries and also just like watching all the films from a director or like really following a graphic designer or someone that does photography, maybe it's on Instagram or um, yeah, just following creative people and, and really enjoying them. And then you could support those creative people by buying something that they made to add to your collection of items that you care about and, you know, investing in handmade things is something that I have learned in my life that I value. If I buy something that's mass produced, there seems to be a disconnection there. And if I buy something that is connected to someone that I care about or has a really aesthetic, you know, uniqueness that's clearly handmade, um, there's something great about that. So this would be just some of the things of how this looks like or what this looks like for appreciation. And I really want you to just think about um, the fact that this can be a very low level, right? Maybe it's on whatever social media platform, just finding th someone that makes something beautiful. Uh, maybe it's, you know, simply just searching around your family. And maybe there's someone in your, you know, community or in the people that care about you that make things and asking them questions, following up. Usually if someone loves to knit, they're going to continue to do that or um, whatever they do that may, brings them joy, ask them about that and, and do that on a, you know, every couple months basis. And I know creative people love to talk about what they make and this is a great opportunity for you to explore that. So again, first step, appreciation. That's going to be something that maybe you'll do throughout your life and I'm uh, excited to uh, keep on walking through these steps as we go throughout this class. Have a great day.